Good day! Today I will present you a Wunderwaffen, but not from Germany. Indeed, when we think about miracle weapons, only German-made ones come to our mind while their original life also had its own homemade mind-blowing projects to save itself from an inevitable defeat. Let me introduce you the Kayaba Type 4 Katsudori. Since the Doolittle Red of April 18, 1942 over Tokyo, the Japanese were aware that their archipel was not immune to American bombers. But it is since the year 1943 that the USA really started to lead strategic bombings over Japan. Additionally, in June 1944, B-29 bombers started to be massively used against Japanese cities. This new bomber could fly so high that it was very hard for fighter planes of the Imperial Japanese Navy to reach them. It is at this moment that the development of the Kayaba Type 4 Katsudori aroused great interest in order to find a solution against these deadly reds. It is a small, tailless jet fighter with a short range of action designed to be equipped with a ramjet engine. The first ramjets were developed even before the First World War. However, there was not hardware advanced enough for such advanced technology. This concept was getting more and more interest before World War II within the scientific community. Japanese scientists were not exception to this phenomenon. In 1935, Shiro Kayaba, who was the president of the Kayaba Manufacturing, which is the ancestry of the actual KYB, started the development of a tailless jet fighter inspired by the Northern Gannet and the Squid in order to promote the concept of a tailless drum jet powered plane. The idea particularly seduced the Colonel Ishiara of the Japanese General Staff. The Kayaba manufacturing thus managed to get an investment from the Japanese army to develop in five years the engine. Shiro Kayaba asked to the retired major Kumazo Hino, who was part-time member of the research division, to build some paper models which showed good performances. His assistant, Professor Hidemasa Kimura, decided then to launch the production of a glider named HK-1 which corresponds to the Kayaba Type 1. His conception was achieved in February 1938 in Tumov. The glider was either catapulted with a rubber cable or mostly towed at takeoff by a Type 10 fighter. The HK-1 made between 1939 and 1940 a total of 182 flights before its test pilot crashed it on landing because he had not become sufficiently familiar with the performances of his machine. However, the excellent performances of Hino's creation motivated the Army's Aviation Technical Institute to order a more advanced version. Kayaba's Institute then built two other gliders. The HK-2, which was pretty much the HK-1, except it, it was towed by a Type 95 fighter, and the HK-3, a bigger version intended to be a long-range action fighter. However, the last one on its 67th flight got caught in a dutch roll and crashed, and concerning the HK-2. It got crushed like the HK-1, by the same way and by the same pilot due to the same reason. 
the fact that he's still not having familiarized enough with the performances of the glider. Wanted to clear customs, he pretended that it was due to the poor capacities of the HK2, and so the army ordered to stop the development of the final project, the Kayaba Type 4. Nonetheless, the Kayaba manufacturing continued its development and the work was progressing well in 1943. It was designed to be 4.50 meters long for a wingspan of 9 meters and a height of 1 meters 85 centimeters. Since its purpose was to intercept the huge B-29, it was to be equipped with HO-155, HO-105 30mm cannons placed inside the nose of the plane. Plus, targets had very few chances to escape from the pilot's side since it had a large cockpit glass. About the most important feature its propulsion. The German HES-001 served as a base to develop the Kayaba Type 1 ramjet engine specially created for this little beast of the Imperial Japanese Navy. It was supposed to deliver a thrust of 750 kg allowing to the plane to reach a maximum speed of 900 km per hour and a sailing of 15,000 meters. In the other hand, one of the intrinsic characteristics of ramjets is that they cannot walk at zero speed, meaning that the plane had to be already at a certain speed to turn on the engine. So, like the Oka, the KU-4 would be dropped from a G4M or a KI-61 bomber to activate its four solid rockets boosters delivering a total thrust of 7200 kg during 5 seconds. And once Mach 0.3 is reached, the rockets are dropped and the engine starts. The plane would so climb to its target at 3350 meters per minute. Due to its small size, the plane had only 30 minutes fuel to accomplish its mission and head back to its base even by gliding. The walk having resumed at high speed in 1943, a prototype has been scheduled for 1944. But, despite being a potential solution against American Reds, the envisaged prototype was cancelled. Indeed, Japanese situation getting worse and worse, the authorities decided to give the priority to more viable projects. So, the Kayaba Katsudori Type 4 had to give the way to the Rikugun Ki-202 Sharp Sword, which is the Japanese version of the ME-163 Comet brought by the Operation Yanagi. Thus, it is estimated that the KU-4 had such performances that if it had been developed earlier, it could have been an excellent interceptor against American bombers. But, all of this is just what we can imagine, and if there is one sure thing, it is that, developed or not, the fate of Japan would have been the same.